Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another Mad 22 preview video for you guys today. For people that uh, follow EA on Twitter or whatever their social media platform of choice is, um, there was a big release schedule today at around 10 o'clock. They were going to have a live uh, show on Twitch, which is typically what they do, and they're going to basically you know, release some new information on Madden 22. Uh, things like the release date, the cover athletes, stuff like that. They teased this uh, in a little bit of a, a you know promo a couple of days ago on Twitter. Like like I said once again on social media, uh, and you don't have to wait till that ten o'clock. You don't have to watch that show because apparently that stuff already came out last night on the ESPN app. I don't know if it was a time zone issue or what. But uh, this stuff's already out there, so I'm making a video about it. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos about this with more information about Madden 22 comes out, as always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But today, I got a couple of pictures for you guys. These are a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of the uh, the releases that came out on that app. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the cover athletes, and I'm also going to show you guys, um, you know, the release dates, which is probably the most important part. Now, when the original uh, video came out on Twitter, it was Peyton Hillis, uh, a former cover athlete, and two goats. That was the uh, two literal goats, two, uh, you know, actual animal, you know, goats. And everybody right away knew that. Um, you know that the the cover athletes is going to have multiple cover athletes for one, based on the fact that there was two goats, and then the other one was pretty much that Tom Brady was going to be one of those goats. Now I don't know. You can see right here, looking at this picture, that it is uh, Tom Brady on one side and uh, Patrick Mahomes on the other. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure that you can start mentioning uh, Peyton, or I'm sorry, uh, Patrick Mahomes in the uh, the goat conversation. For some reason, when I saw that, and based on the fact that it was Peyton Hillis, I, for some reason I thought maybe Peyton Manning was going to be worked into maybe like the Hall of Fame edition or something like that because he has either he's going into the Hall of Fame soon or he already did. I don't really remember because of COVID. Um, there was a lot of um, the, a lot of the Hall of Fame ceremonies never took place, but I know Peyton Manning either got elected recently uh, or he's he's going into the Hall of Fame soon. So I kind of thought maybe that that would be the MVP or the Hall of Fame edition or something like that would be. Peyton Manning, but apparently those two goats were referring to Tom Brady, who everybody knows is the goat, and uh, Patrick Mahomes, who maybe, you know, someday might be. I mean, he's one of the most amazing players ever. Uh, both of these players have already been on covers before as well, uh, which I think is interesting. I don't know if there's ever been a uh, cover athlete on uh, Madden twice, uh, but we have that now. I know Michael Vick was close. He lost. I mean, speaking of Peyton, uh, Peyton Hillis, maybe that was the connection with Peyton Hillis, because the year that Peyton Hillis was elected, it was a fan vote, and the runner-up was Michael Vick. If Michael Vick would have won, he would have been the first ever Madden athlete to be on the cover twice. So maybe that's the connection that EA was trying to make, is now we finally have two guys that are on the first, you know, the first time ever to be on the, on the cover twice. So that's pretty interesting. Um, as far as these cover athletes go, I just have one thing about that. Sometimes... The cover athlete, when it comes to the game, says a lot about what to expect from the game. I don't think it's necessarily apples to apples, but it's been that way in the past where they've tried to pick a cover athlete uh, to uh, kind of describe like a new experience or a new atmosphere or new some uh, some new additions to the game. I don't know if this is really one of those times. I don't really think that EA is going to put a bunch of stuff into the game that changes how passing is done. Uh, but this is all speculation. Part of me feels like this is going to be just a updated version of Madden 21, which is typically what they do, especially when it comes to like next-gen consoles. And from playing next-gen Madden 21 a lot, I noticed that the game really feels more like a run-heavy game than a pass-heavy game. It feels like they worked on the zones, especially towards the end of the year. It feels like they worked on the zone coverages really a lot, and uh, there aren't as many one-play touchdowns, especially against coverages like Cover 3 and stuff like that. It just feels like... Uh, the you know passing still obviously it's not the hardest thing to do, but it feels like they toned down the ability to pass compared to like the old gen where I felt like it was way too easy to throw up one play touchdowns and stuff like that. So part of me thinks, I mean I will say one thing about like if this is just an updated version of Madden 21 to 22 and they try to fix some of the bugs, it's definitely easy to moss people. When it comes to uh, the passing mechanics, it's way easier to rocket catch people and stuff like that uh, in Madden 21 Next Gen and, and the way that the game felt towards the end of the cycle, which is you know basically right now. It definitely feels uh, there are some some things when it comes to passing that you can do that 
you know, maybe that's where this is going to be going. The other major piece of information is uh, the release date. Now, this will say um, the, the official release date is August 20th. Uh, which I think is a pretty good release date time, to be honest with you. I, I was I was fearing it was going to be a September release for some reason, but August twentieth feels like a good a good release uh, for me personally. Right in the middle of you know when when preseason really starts to ramp up, um, you know when football's back in the atmosphere. I think that's a perfect time for a release date personally. Uh, or you can get early access three days earlier. Um, you know, if you buy the MVP edition, that would be a release date of August 17th. So for people that want to get that early, and then of course you can get it even earlier. You can, if you have EA access, which I typically have, um, you can get a 10 hour trial, which is, you know, that's pretty much par for the course every year. These are pretty much the same setups. You can get it on the official release date when you can just walk into a store and pick it up on August 20th, or you could get the early access by paying a little bit more and getting the MVP edition, or you can get it even sooner with EA with EA Play with EA Access, which I think like I said I think they changed the name to EA Play. Um, you know, which you know those ten hours are, are, are pretty cool. I don't know if it's worth it to the average person to get the ten hours, but for somebody like me who does this for a living, obviously every moment uh, I can get with the game ahead of time, so I can you know come up with new plays and come up with content and stuff like that. Obviously, that's important to me. So for me, I'm definitely get the MVP edition i'm definitely going to have this game as early as possible so i can get as much content out for you guys as possible tell me in the comment section what you guys think about uh, the release date about the cover athletes i'm not very excited about the two athletes that they picked it's not the most uh you know it's 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 athletes we've seen before i would have much rather preferred maybe aaron Rodgers. you know the guy was an mvp last year he's never been on the cover um if you're trying to do um, you know, a, a GOAT edition or something like that, or an MVP edition. There's no reason that Aaron Rodgers can't fit the bill. He actually won MVP last year. Uh, one of the issues, though, and I heard this is kind of a problem, was um, it was a rumor that because of Aaron Rodgers not possibly playing in Green Bay in this upcoming season and not knowing where he's going to go, it's kind of hard to put him on a cover. This That might be why they changed it last second and maybe put two athletes that they've already had on there. Maybe it's because of Aaron Rodgers' uncertain situation in Green Bay or possibly Denver or wherever. They don't want to put him on a cover in a Green Bay uniform. Next thing, it looks like an older game based off of the fact that uh, he's playing in Denver in a couple of weeks. You know what I mean? They don't want the people to be confused and say, well, is this even the latest game based off of that fact? So it wouldn't surprise me if Aaron Rodgers was the original pick and they had to kind of change it to the point where they went with this two-athlete cover, which is also the second time they've done that, by the way. They also did that with Larry Fitzgerald and Troy Polamalu a couple years back in what I thought was a pretty good game. So this is definitely, uh, I, I mean, I like the cover overall. Uh, I just feel like it's not exciting based off the fact that we've already seen these guys and recently too I mean Patrick Mahomes especially was what just a couple years ago was that Madden 19 that Patrick Mahomes was on the cover So it feels like they're running out of ideas uh, when it comes to uh, cover athletes even though there's a lot of really good options out there um, You know this is this is what they uh, this is what they uh, turn to so I, I like I said I like the cover I like the concept hopefully it uh, it lends itself to the gameplay in some way that they haven't revealed yet but for now, this is the only information they have out there. So if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comment section with the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.